Welcome back, everybody. It's been a while. Yeah, again. Because <laughs> things happen. Alright, so uh, as we uh, recall from the last video, we finished up the pose. So now we gotta give this guy the last Poe. At least it better be the last Poe. Oh, you brought a Poe today. Hmm. Yeah, then he wants to eat it and all that. This is a really big Poe. <laughs> I like how he's got like a picture of a Triforce in the background, like he drew that himself. Did you see my artwork? <laughs> I drew it myself. I'm so proud. Wait, Wait a minute. minute. Wow! Wow, this you is have earned 1,000 points! Young man, you are a genuine ghost hunter. Is that what you expected me to say? No. Because of you, I have extra inventory of my big pose. So this will be the last time I can buy a ghost. You're thinking about what I promised would happen when you earned 1,000 points. Don't worry. I didn't forget. Just take this. Yay! Congratulations, I gave you an empty, empty bottle jar. <laughs> <laughs> all my pain and suffering was put into this bottle. All for a drunk. Who sleeps in an old storage cabinet. <laughs> <laughs> all this pose up there. They look so happy. Why are they so evil? I don't know if they're... Actually, didn't it say that the pose were like concentrated hate or something yeah. like that? <laughs> they don't seem to be all that hateful. They just kind of float around and... I actually did not mean to uh, go back in there. Good we one. actually need to uh, go back as a kid again. And then we need to return to Lon Lon Ranch to get the fourth bottle. Lon Lon Ranch. Lon Lon Ranch. Lon Lon. Oh, God. Burnt remnants. I think it's kind of a cool name for a ranch, Lon Lon. It makes me think of cows, even without thinking that Lon Lon even makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> Into the Temple of Time. One of those fixed camera views that's just awesome. Yep. It's more like art than a camera view. <laughs> it's just a painting, and Link just doesn't know it. <laughs> Uh, almost there. Steps, steps. Put the sword back in. Wow. Oh my god, not the bright light! Ah! Yay, we're a kid again. Oh, then we gotta go all the way to Lon Lon Ranch. Alright, so now we are actually going to enter the sex room. Let's see what's really inside. Yay, sex room! Oh my- Oh my god. Yeah, what is what happening? Sex room. What is happening right there? <laughs> oh god, why? You chose to enter the sex room. I, I have to come in smelly here. Smelly goat farm. <laughs> oh god. Alright, but seriously, we gotta talk to, uh... Um, Talon. Mario. Yeah, Mario. Huh? I'm awake. Oh, I'm awake already. What? Well, I'll be. If it ain't the forest kid from the other day. By the way, thanks a lot for waking me up. Yeah, you probably would have been dead if I didn't wake you up. It took some doing, but I finally got Melon back in a good mood. Is she really that mad at you? <laughs> so what are you up to today? Got some free time on your hands, you say? No, I didn't say that. Well, how about a little game? No, I'm really crunched on time. I gotta save the world. <laughs> Super Coco. Oh, what have you been doing? If you yeah, he's gonna throw a bunch of. Uh, well, actually, just three of them, I believe, as you just said. And um, I have to find the real ones out of a bunch of uh, other ones. Okay, ten rupees. You have thirty seconds. All righty, then get ready. Here to go, the Super Cocos. Start looking. All right. Super Coco. One went this way. It's you. Oh, oh god. No, that's not it. You? That's one of them! Oh god. Oh god, which one? Oh, Good job. Uh, you. Uh, c come here. Nope. Where is he? This is not cool. No, Link, pick him up. Link! <laughs> Ah, oh, jeez. Good job. Golly, I'll be darned. It's plum incredible. Plum incredible? That's the last one. You found them all. Come on over here. Uh oh, we Get don't. Over here. 
we don't know what happened. Hey, you. You've got the talent to be one of the world's best cowboys. Oh, oh wrangling some chickens? Yeah. How do you like to marry Malin, huh? Right, um, yeah, sure. Yeah, right. <laughs> okay. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, I was just kidding, kid. <laughs> he punched him in the face. I think you're a little young for that, aren't you? Um, I suppose. Oh, I'm proud to present to you a sample of my DNA. <laughs> Of our very own <laughs> long, long, long milk. milk. Uh, yeah, it, uh, it's gonna give you the last bottle, and it's gonna be full of milk. Hooray! Milk. milk, and that is all the bottles. So the bonuses for uh, the bottles is over, because now we got all of them. Yay! So when you see us again in the next few seconds, we're gonna be looking at our next challenge. Alrighty, so this is going to be our next bonus challenge, the Gerudo Training Grounds, which can be uh, fairly challenging. I want to say it's the most challenging uh, bonus part of the entire game. Now, I filled up on some fairies with uh, the extra bottles, and that's the beauty about, about this place, is that the fact that that's uh, such a uh, challenging bonus, if you go over here and play the Song of Storms, uh, the, a hole will appear right here, and you can uh, fall into a fairy fountain and collect some fairies. And uh, yeah, that will be very useful. Yep. So let's talk to this one. This is the Gerudo's training ground. Your funny-looking lips. <laughs> Membership card verified. Ten rupees. Yeah, and it actually costs you to go in here. But only ten rupees. And we enter. Oh, good lord! It's already scary. No, no, it's not. All right, let's open this chest, and we get a bomb juice. Bomb juice. And we open this chest, and we get arrows. Hooray! You needed those. I needed those because I was low on them. All right, so I guess uh, we will go ahead and shoot the eye up here, which I believe unlocks the door. Yep, unlocks one of the doors, and uh, which that's the door we're going to be heading into. And I suppose I'll go ahead and use Din's fire, and I believe that will open up the other door. Falcon Punch! Yay. What if Link wasn't immune to that fire? <laughs> <laughs> he just dies. It's an instant kill. Sets himself on fire. <laughs> now, this is what I mean by this is going to be challenging, because there are time limits in all this. Now, this part can be pretty tricky, and what you need to do is you need to go over here to the right and kill the uh, stone guy because he will throw you off and then after killing him since you're going to be dealing with a bunch of lizard men you're probably going to want to do a lot of sword spins to save save some precious time kill them oh nice roll that was that was well timed andrew ah uh. Stop jumping over me. One stubborn lizard. Come here. God. Jeez. He did. Now it's your turn. Ah, there's still one left. Ah, he's dead. Alright, he's about to explode. Get out of there! Boom. Not my best time, but only because of a stubborn lizard. That was a pretty stubborn lizard. He wouldn't die. Uh, he should have died like like two more hits but he didn't all right so we get a key and you know keys are pretty important in this place I think after playing this game I'm gonna go home and chrome all my keys <laughs> this part is annoying I'm just gonna tell you this right up front so we're gonna need um, fire arrows and we are gonna need the hover boots okay it's like Hermes <laughs> this is actually where you need arrows. Hopefully I don't run out of them. Okay. We'll make our way over here. Make our way over here. Be careful about the flaming skull, because he's not nice. And only do it in th about three at a time. Because uh, there's a time limit to this. Yeah. There we go. Alright, now the part that I'm afraid of coming up is uh, when I light this torch up again to get those other three, I'm going to have to go hover right on that platform over there and then go over there. 
And there's a flaming skull that likes to jump, uh, jump up, so I'm hoping he won't get me. I, I can definitely predict. Oh, God. And he got me. Yeah. Oh, I thought you were going to survive. No. That's, that's, just the, that's just the beauty of this. And then you got to do it over. Uh, of course, if you get all the ru all these uh, rupees and then fall in the lava, it still counts. So that's the good part. Because most likely I will fall in again at the very end. I wish I can just kill that thing. Would you be able to like run out slightly and then backtrack before you fall down and have him go and then run? Again? Well, what I'm thinking is that the way I, I have done it before is that if I run to the, the the most right side of that platform, he shouldn't be able to get me. All right. Now, couldn't you save some arrows right here by using Din's fire to light that thing instead? Yeah, I could, right. but I still got you know a fair amount of arrows left okay. until I keep having to do stuff over again. Ah. Ah, Ooh, okay. that was close. Man, these are scary. I hope I can make it to that last one in time. Alright, now, now you don't have to worry. Because now you can fall. I didn't quite mean to do that on purpose. I was actually trying to land on that pillar. <laughs> but, uh, because I lost my coordination. That's what I hate so much about cutscenes in this game. Is that they throw your coordination off so much. It's like, okay, I don't need a cutscene. Just let me play. Oh, but you lit a torch. You need a cutscene for that. N no, I don't. <laughs> Alright, we can take our hover boots off. Yes. And we go in here. Alrighty. I gotta collect more rupees. Underwater this time. Alright. Oh yeah, I forgot about these guys. Um, uh. Let's see. I think the hook shot works. I'll go ahead and revert to regular arrows. Let's see if I get electrocuted, if they don't work. Nope, it works. Give me them heart. Alrighty. Magic. Arrows, yay. That's that's a need. Alright, and now we're gonna... switch on the floor? No, it's just a little bit of carpet. Oh, okay, weird. <laughs> <laughs> that's where a chest is gonna be. Oh, okay. Like, check right. out my tiny carpet. <laughs> that arrow just bounced like off the web and back towards me. That was weird. Alrighty, so we're gonna be dealing with um, three enemies down here. We're gonna be dealing with one of them annoying clams, but even more annoying, we're gonna be dealing with those little underwater uh, stingray bat-looking things. There they are. Does you need the uh, blue? blue yeah, tunic? yeah, I do. Okay. I got time. Okay. Um. Oh wait, I got my hook shot out. Oh god. Ow. There. He did. You, die. Yeah, Aha! He did. It's actually not that easy to get it in one hit. Alright, you. I'm clam. Alrighty. Oh, I'm dead. Alrighty, I'll go ahead and put the uh, water tunic on. And, uh... Now, don't take your iron boots on and off to get the gems, because it's not going to work very well, because the uh, the water's moving in a whirlpool motion, so it's that'll just make it even more difficult. So just go ahead and just hook shot through. Oh, and that's the other thing. These gems are just so bullshit. You go that right through them. That is a little honky. You just go right through them sometimes. Like, I totally got that. What are you talking about? And then you got to angle yourself properly. All right. Okay. How about here? Thank you. You did it, Andrew. I know. Yeah. It's such an accomplishment. Such an accomplishment. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Okay. Right here. Uh, there we go. Aim high. Yeah, there we go. Alrighty. And we land. Will I ever get this next rupee? I don't know. I really don't know. Because we're going to have to find out next time.